Hello and welcome. This will be a quick video on the Sol mod for Assetto Corsa, namely the version 1.1.1 as of the time of creating this video. I wanted to create this short video because I noted some bugs and inconsistencies. Now obviously this is because Sol is constantly being developed, but I thought I would try and quickly create this if it helps somebody in some way. So we'll begin by visiting the Sol page on Race Department, which I'll link to below in the video description. And here you can download the latest Sol version 1.1.1, download the installation guide, and also download the Sol manual. Although note the comment, the new Sol 1.1 features are not yet integrated into the installation guide. And that is due to the fact that people have created in-game apps to allow you to configure dynamic weather and so on so that you don't have to go about editing text files and so on. So we'll begin by following the install guide. Now the first thing it suggests you do is open your Steam library, look for Assetto Corsa, right click on the game title, select properties and then open the local files tab and click to browse local files. And then what it suggests you do, and which is a good idea, is drag the folder name and place it in your quick access bar. Then you're instructed to visit a Trello page and download Content Manager. Now I don't really understand why this is so, because as far as I'm aware, Content Manager has always been available from the AssettoCorsa.club site. And indeed, when I compared the versions available from both sites, the assetacorsa.club version was the latest one. And of course, Content Manager will anyway update itself, but I found this a bit confusing. Anyway, in this case, we'll download Content Manager from assetacorsa.club. And next, we're asked to download the latest version of the custom shaders patch, or at least the latest stable version. Then to continue with the installation, we must open our Assetto Corsa directory, which we bookmarked earlier, select dwrite.dll and delete the file. Then we go to where we have our download stored. And what you do is you drag and drop the custom shaders patch archive directly into Content Manager. And notice before you continue, there's a plus here and clicking on the plus, you can either choose to update over existing files or create a clean install. So what I'll do is I'll just click to update over existing and click install. Then we do the same for the latest version of Sol. Drag this into Content Manager and again, update over existing. The next thing you should do is from Content Manager, go to Settings, Assetto Corsa and Video and scroll down and make sure that Sol is enabled as the current post-processing filter. And then from Settings, go to Content Manager and Drive and select override default filter in oculus rift mode obviously for vr users and also tick use custom weathers particles i should note that these steps also appear as instructions in the sol installation manual itself as indeed are the instructions on how to enable the weather options correctly which you should do if you're going to use sol and in this case i go to content miscellaneous weather and as you can see here, I have things set up correctly. So I have the seven set of course of default weather types and the rest are the Sol weather types. So this is correct. Then from content manager, you should go to settings, a set of course and apps and enable Sol config and the Sol weather app. And this you do in order to support use of the new in-game apps, which allow you to create dynamic weather plans and so on. I have to admit, I haven't looked at these in detail, but these are new. And as it says in the Sol page on Race Department, note that these new 1.1 features have not been integrated into the original Sol manual. So obviously things are changing on an ongoing basis. And that is pretty much it in terms of installing Sol 1.1.1. Now there is a bug I noticed. I set up a session driving a Porsche on the LA Canyons and when I ran the session using custom shaders patch version 49 there appeared to be something wrong with the skybox on the track. So 
So what I did was, and this seems to be a new feature inside Content Manager, or at least I hadn't seen it before. From the settings inside Content Manager, there now appears a custom shaders patch option. And I went here and I clicked here to unlock and then I simply clicked to install the preview version 74. And then when I ran the session again, everything seemed to be okay. And once you've enabled the in-game Sol config app and the Sol weather app, choose content manager and choose apps and you can configure the Sol weather app following the instructions from the Sol 1.1 installation manual. Although I'm not sure whether the instructions which appear in the Sol 1.1 manual for the weather app are necessary settings or just suggestions, I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, as I said, this was just a quick video to try and clarify some things, both for myself and perhaps somebody watching this video. And once I publish the video, I might share it in the Sol Discord and get some answers to some questions there to see if I'm possibly on the right track. Until next time, thank you.